Hi, you guys. Okay, so, uh, sorry I haven't posted in a while. It's because it's finals a week next week, so I've been studying and stuff, and it's been really hectic. But um, after next week, I'm off, so I'm going to be posting more. Uh, so, basically, this video, I want to talk about the mid-season finale of Walking Dead, because a lot of things happened. So, basically, the governor kidnapped Herschel and Michonne, and he wants to take the prison now, because Megan and Lily and people, and he pretty much goes to the prison, and <laughs> a lot of things happen. Well, and then at the prison, uh, Tyrese finds, like, a dead rabbit thing, and, like, a, like an autopsy of a rabbit, and so he thinks it's, like, the psychopath, but Daryl, well, Rick told Daryl about Carol, so well, I don't know about that, what's going on there, and then, um, so he comes with the tank, which is, like, one of the most iconic moments in the comic book series, uh, the governor comes in a tank, and he's like, I'm gonna take the prison, and Rick's like, no, you're not, and then he's, like, trying to compromise, but then the governor kills Herschel, which was, like, the most saddest thing ever, because I loved Herschel, especially after his big, awesome fighting episode with the zombies and stuff like that, so I really loved Herschel, and everyone's, like, hashtag spaghetti tease days forever, because just Herschel, and, um, so Herschel died, he got his head chopped off with Michonne's sword by the governor, which is depressing. And then, um, then all hell breaks loose, and the the governor, like, pretty much just crushes the fences, and all the walkers come in. A tank is taken out by Daryl, which was the most bamfiest thing I've ever seen. Well, Daryl is a bamf overall, but he is so bamfy, I swear. He's just like, I'm just gonna take out this tank by myself and just like just throws a grenade takes him out takes it out and there was like this part where like the walker was like super duper close i'm like get out of behind you but that didn't happen and then um in the in lizzie just like shot like one of the people in the head like without blinking an eye so i think she's the one that's feeding the rats and dissecting the rabbits because that happens in the comic books like there's a little boy that has a, a twin and he becomes like psychopathic and he pretty much kills his brother so I, maybe Lizzie's gonna be that person I don't know and um, now I have like this new theory about like maybe Carol didn't actually kill Karen and burn and burn them and uh, maybe Lizzie did it and Carol just covered for her so you never know and then my cousin was like maybe it was that Bob Stokey guy because he's kind of shady you never know because he is a doctor and it looked the rabbit kind of looked like it was like taken apart like maybe to find a cure or something and maybe he was like feeding them the rats so he can maybe like test them or something you never know so and the governor and Rick get into a fist fight and uh, uh, then Michonne finally kills the governor like well it doesn't like st he, she stabs him and then leaves him and then Lily the governor's girlfriend is the final final one to shoot him in the head and kill off the governor and that's the end of the governor so I'm glad that they finally killed off the governor because he killed Herschel and then also um, I thought he was gonna die at the end of season three because that's you know what happens in the comic books kind of but um, I'm, I'm really glad that they uh, like they developed him a lot more to see how like how crazy he was and um, I really liked his like few episodes with him because I was like, oh, maybe the governor changed. And then the second he killed Martinez, I was like, oh, no, no, he didn't. Carol and um, Rick go and try to find Judith, but they find like a bloody car seat. So maybe Judith is dead. I'm not sure if Judith is actually dead because, um, I mean, you saw the bloody car seat. And of course, they're probably not going to show a baby corpse on TV, but hey, you never know. Um, but um, there's also uh, Lizzie and Mika and the kids. Um, I, maybe they they took her or Michonne or um, Beth and Daryl. Um, um, 
oh my god, her name slips. Lily. Lily could have taken her. Uh, Carol could have come back and taken her. But I think Tyrese and the kids have her because there's, um, there was actually like a meme that said, like, uh, Mika and Lizzie nodded their head to say, go back. And the car seat was bloody, so maybe Tyrese took her. And um, Tyrese, if he, the last time you see Tyrese, he's um, going towards the open door, and he has something in his arms. So maybe it's Judith. So hopefully Judith is okay. But Carl and uh, um, Rick don't know that, so they were crying and they were really upset. And then they walked, um, and then you see like the last, um, the the prison in shambles, and Rick tells Carl, uh, don't look back, just keep walking, and it's just like, oh my god. So the prison storyline has finally come to an end, and, um, now it's the, sur the survivors and Negan, which I'm super duper excited about, um, because Negan's, like, really, re like, he's one of the evilest people in Walking Dead as well. Um, he's not as up there as the governor is, but he's like close second. So I'm excited for Negan and um, I'm excited to see, like they said that um, Carol's definitely gonna come back before the end of the season. So I'm excited about that. Also, um, hopefully um, Abraham and um, all those people come. So <laughs> I really want them to be in the season. And um, yeah, that's about it. I mean, my thoughts about it is like super duper sad. Like. I, I, just, just Herschel, because his death was so sad, and then uh, Maggie and Beth's reaction to it was just depressing, and um, Judith, because I was like, oh my gosh, they killed her off, like, in the comic books, but when I, like, a right afterwards, I was like, oh my gosh, they just killed Judith, but a, a little bit afterwards, like, after I kept on thinking about it, I was like, they couldn't have killed her, like, it was kind of shady, I don't think they did, so I'm hoping that they didn't. And, um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, shh, just, uh, I don't think I'm gonna vlog. Um, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm gonna vlog, uh, next week because I have finals. And then after that, I have, a uh, holiday, just, uh, I'm off for winter break. So, yay! And, um, I'll try to vlog during that. And then, um, Matt Smith is leaving Doctor Who on the 25th on Christmas and I'm gonna be super duper sad. I'm not gonna watch it on Christmas because I don't want to be super duper depressed because they already said that he like, spoiler alert, he, yeah, that he's gonna lose a leg in the from a weeping angel in that episode and also it's very traumatic according to uh, Jenna Coleman who plays uh, Clara so I'm just like, <laughs> no. But um, I'm excited for Peter Capaldi, but I don't want Matt to leave. So, yeah, that's about it. Those are my thoughts on Walking Dead. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I, I don't think there's anything else to talk about. The Governor dead, Herschel dead. Uh, I'm excited for uh, the mid-season premiere. Really, really excited. Because I just want to know what happens. Like, they left you so uncertain and... Uh, they're really following the comic books again, so I'm excited about that. So, um, I'm really hoping that they n meet... It looks like the house thing with the telephone in the comic books with Rick and Carl. I think that's going to happen. And I'm really hoping that, um... Well, Negan's has to happen. But, um, I'm also hoping a hilltop in the kingdom is going to happen. And also, uh, when they meet the cannibals... Yeah, th that's a very iconic um, part of The uh, Walking Dead, so I'm hoping that happens too. So, yeah, well, I'm not hoping that happens. Um, well, kind of, but I know someone's going to die with the cannibals, but yeah. Well, anyway, that's about it. <laughs> uh, rambling. Um, so, uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye!